Boys and girls, it's time to gather around because today we're going to talk about leaks. That's right, leaks. Now, just the other day, my wife came and grabbed me because we had a leak in the kitchen and I had a new mission. I needed to fix that leak. And as I was working on that kitchen sink, I thought, you know, there's a lot of other things that leak too. For instance, I've also fixed the toilet when it was leaking and that can make a big mess. And then I've also had to patch up those tires on the bicycles. That can be a real bummer when they leak because you can't ride your bike. And then maybe some of you have had a ball you like to kick around. And when it has a leak, it's no fun. And so we got to fix those too. And then for us older boys and girls, sometimes we even have leaks in our car tires and that can cause a big problem. So we have to fix those as well. And then if we're not careful, we can even have an oil leak and we certainly want to fix that or we'll have big trouble with that car. But as I was thinking about all these leaks and how they can lead to even bigger trouble, I couldn't help but think about the Word of God. So if you have your Bibles today, would you open them to Psalm 139 and allow me to read verses 23 through 24 for you now. And remember, as always, this is the Word of God. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Boys and girls, did you see what the Word of God said? King David prayed to God and asked him to search his heart and to know his thoughts. And so as we ask God to search our hearts, we need to understand that this is a painful prayer and it's a prayer that will lead to healing. So it's so important that we pray it and we ask God to identify those leaks in our own heart. And this is what I mean. Just like those tires run into different objects on the road and cause a leak, we also can develop some leaks in our own heart by developing sinful habits or attitudes and we need to confess those sins to God. So just like a tire has a leak and there's a cure, we wanna patch that leak. We also wanna ask God for forgiveness for those sins and he will be faithful and just to forgive us for all those sins. So boys and girls, let's continue to walk and follow after our Lord so that we can keep growing and be more and more like Jesus Christ. And I pray that that will lead each and every one of us into the way of everlasting. So until next time, bye-bye.